Hello everyone, this is Johannes and this is Cinema and you are watching Board Gaming Ramblings. Welcome back to Game of the Month. This time it's a game we played in May. 2024! It's been another month. Yes. April was pretty lackluster in board games. It's not the best month for gaming. No, so hopefully May was better. First we question to you. Yes. Was May better? May was better. Yay. Oh, I'm spoiling the stats now. Yes. No, you didn't spoil the whole thing. Only that it was better. So today we are going through the normal things for the game of the month. But if this is your first time here, what we're going to do is this. We're going to go through our stats. Then we're going to go through the list of all the games that we played this month. And then we're going to go through the most fun experience, the biggest surprise, the biggest letdown, and then ending the whole thing with the top three games that we played in May 2024. It's not always May 2024, just this time. So you know it's if you go and watch other videos, it's going to be other months. We're going to start with the stats. In May, we played 59 plays. And we played 20. Eight in April. We played 21 different games. And 15 different ones in April. 12 of them were new to us. And 7 of them was new to us in April. And we played 69 hours of board games. Versus 41 hours in April. So we did actually play board games in May is what we're ah, saying. Yeah, absolutely. I think that was a lot of better. It was a lot of better. I agree with that. A lot of better stat weenies. A lot of best. The best best thing that we talk about in this is how many times did we win? Yes. Because that's what everybody is like sitting on their chairs being like, who won the most? So how many times did you win? This time we don't have actually the stats for the winning percentage. That's uh, not we're true. We're skipping it's that part. It's on the part. screen. Yes. You can see it with your yes. eyes. You're an expert on eyes. I won nine, 29 times. Yes. And I won 38. You have crushed me. Yes. What has happened? I played with other people. Oh, okay. I, I don't think I played that many, but I no, played some games with other people. So now we're going to go into the, all the games that we have played. And in May, we played... Seven Citadel. Order Overload Spiel 23. Harmonies. Delight in the Mist. Rebirth. Fantasy Realms. The Emerald Flame. Hard to Get. Ezra and Nehemiah. Ada's Dream. Sand. El Burro a La Granja Game. Frosthaven. The Morrison Game Factory. Draft and Write Records. Galactic Renaissance. Sky Rise. Unlock Extraordinary Adventures. Isle of Sky. Quadropolis. And Harrow County. So if you looked at those and were like, there were many games I hadn't heard about, we played a few uh, escape room games uh, that we are going to talk about in a future video. Uh, so uh, yeah, keep an eye out on those if you like puzzling, because puzzling is amazing. Yes. That is that part. Yeah. Yes, now on to the next part. That is how videos work. Oh, we're not going to do it again. This time we played... Seventh Sit? No, we're not going to do it. I was thinking like it was... You didn't read the script. We were supposed to do oh, the joke where okay. we did that. And then we... Now we're going over to the other things. The most fun experience, the biggest surprise, and the biggest letdown. Are you ready? How yes. was this for you to, to do this time? Like some months it's harder to find things and easier to find things. How was that for you this month? This was easy this month. Like... Last month we played some few games, mm -hmm. and I was just like, "Oh, but I'm I'm not really excited for this <laughs> right now." Yeah. But now it was the other way around. Yes. There's so many games I'm excited for, so that was a little hard. Yeah, it was but harder it... making top three for me this yeah. month because there were so many good games. I agree. So do you want to begin with your most fun experience? My most fun experience is actually hard to get. Again. Again and again. again. But this has been our go-to party mm. game that we bring to people like a filler or at the end of the night we don't want to play a big game. Uh, or a medium game. Yeah, a, a lot of rules. We just want to have fun. And we brought this to some friends that we haven't played board games with before. Yes. And we actually got, we played one round of Hard to Get and mm -hmm. we, we made it. Yes, yeah, so we can we never play it. it with them again. Yes. Uh, because we actually won. But, uh, like playing, we played both Quadropolis and Isle of Sky with them, which was one, or some of our favorite games, and we really liked those. And that was really fun. But that moment with 
actually getting mm -hmm. to do that together that was the playing with them was really nice and hard to get is a great game to play with, with, with people yeah um, not without people yes with dog for so, example it's so uh, it's so boring to play it without people yes or like i played it with five ants they didn't get <laughs> any of my clues they were just like going around picking up things that were so much bigger than them because they're so strong my most fun experience was a game called the Morrison Game Factory. Cool. This is an escape room game. We're going to do a review of it. And I can't really talk a lot about it. But it is basically for us board gamers. It's going to be even more fun to play it than just for people who play escape rooms. And then they get this as an escape room at home. Because this is an escape room experience. It's a, it's a two hour ish. I think we spent like one hour, four to five minutes, something like that. Two hour ish experience. Um that is set in a board game factory so there's a lot of these it felt like it was like some in jokes and a lot of these very fun things based on board games and the puzzles were fun it's a narrative driven escape room game that i really enjoyed it was my most fun experience next we're gonna go up to the biggest surprise and the biggest surprise for me this month was actually rebirth Mm -hmm. um, because it wasn't surprising that what I would like a Rhino Canizia game. What? It was surprising that this was designed by Rhino Canizia. That was a surprise. That like, was the surprise. Di I didn't know he did make games. No, he has made so few. Yes. So he's very picky about it, what he designs. Well, <laughs> um, it, it feels like a classic mm -hmm. Canizia design. But what surprised me is that the first time we played it, we played it just the two of us. Two. And I was just like, okay, this is a fine game. And we played it some more and we played it with more people. And I was just like, okay, but this is actually really fun. And it goes like this. Mm -hmm. And that is that is what was surprising to me. Uh, that it, it had like, the first time I played it, it was like, meh. Yeah. And then it was like, okay, this is really fun. My biggest surprise is going to be Harmonies. Uh, I heard this game blow up on the internet and I looked at it like I, I think it's gonna be fun but I was surprised by how much I liked it. It is one of those games that is gonna be a go-to filler for me because it is so quick it's very simple to teach and it is just like everyone we played it with had enjoyed it immensely. It has those puzzly things that we always yeah. like and it is just like a the only thing as people have said is that the cards are not very good quality so they warp look like this at the yes. end and, but the gameplay is so good and it was a surprising thing to me so the biggest letdown let the sad part of the video what was your biggest letdown of the month i have actually two on this list oh wow because uh, i i had to work hard to find one okay because it's not the games, but it was the game sessions that oh, was so disappointing to me. It was because you lost. Yes. <laughs> no, it actually both are co-op games. So the first okay. one I put here is the Unlock Extraordinary Adventures. Because one of the scenarios that we just played there was a huge letdown. It was... It, it was... Uh, I don't remember. It was just so underwhelming. We... we it was... Um, was it a detective one? Yeah. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, I didn't like the mechanism in that it mm -hmm. felt like a lot of guessing. And... I already blocked it out, I guess. Yes. Of... Oh uh, yeah, that one. Yes, yes, that one. So I, I, we have one more left mm -hmm. in that box. I hope that that is better, but that was better. a huge letdown for me. And also, actually, a letdown for me this month was Frosthaven. Because oh. it took so long time playing it. We played it with four. We hadn't played it in a while. Mm -hmm. And it, it just is so... And we lost. So it's just like, I feel like I put my heart and soul and all my time into this game. And I want to have so much fun. And then we die. Yes. And I get sad. So then I was just like, is it even that good? Do I even like Frosthaven now? And I know that I'm going to enjoy it when we play it with two players and we're going to win. But yeah, that, that wasn't that fun. So this really means that it was a good month because you didn't find a game that was yes, that big a surprise. Just, big yeah. down. It's both games, Unlock and Frosthaven are both games that I love. Mm -hmm. Those game sessions was boring. I'm gonna, this is gonna be like the biggest shock of, uh, of this video. Oh. And uh, because my biggest letdown was a game. Oh, okay. And it was Quadropolis. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. And because I, I always loved this game. And 
I played it a lot of times and now we introduce it to somebody they really liked it which was nice because that made me happy that we introduced because those were said were friends that we um, basically very old friends that we haven't had in contact with for many years and then we met them at a wedding it's like childhood not childhood like it's called a high school is that what it's yeah, called in, in, in I English? think so high school friend that I haven't had contact with many years met him in a wedding two years ago and Finally, we managed to make plans and we played uh, Quarterpolis and Isle of Sky, uh, and they really liked it. Uh, but I was, but the problem, and this is going to sound bad, but the problem with Quarterpolis is that if nobody stops my plan, I'm going to win. It, it, have you, like, checked that? Have you gone into the, the but, but stats I have, and checked? Yes. Because I think if I, I think I would remember that. Do you if, remember? No, but I am a sore loser. Like a really sore loser for yeah. you, those of you that don't know, and I felt I feel like I really enjoy Quadropolis. Mm -hmm. And if I, you would win every time by no, no, doing your no, strategy, no, no, that is not, it's not completely true. But it feels okay. I'm not gonna rephrase it. Thank you. To it feels solved for me. Okay. Yeah. Like it feels like oh, I'm just gonna do this. If that's available, I'm gonna do that, and there's a high chance for me winning. Okay. Because if I do that first, and then I do these things, then. That's gonna let the loads of points, so I can then use that to get more points. So there's a very high chance of winning with that strategy. So for me, I, I still want to keep Quadrupolis, but I need next time to play it with advanced yes. version to see if that changes my feelings. But it was kind of sad when I looked at it. It's like that uh -huh. was actually my biggest letdown was not loving Quadrupolis as much as I did, and kind of I'm not gonna look at it in the shelf now and be like, oh, I really want to play that again. I'm gonna look at it and be like. I don't know when I need to play that again. Yeah, I agree that, uh, like, the big classical version, I was, like, I felt a, a little done with it. Mm -hmm. But I think the drafting is really interesting yes. in itself. Yeah, and, and that makes, like, it's not solved for me because mm -hmm. I want to do the things that I think is the best, but yes. it's not always that I will be able to because of the drafting situation. Yep. That is cool. That's... A, that's a puzzle in itself, but I agree. I want to play the advanced version now to see where it stands. And now we're going to do the top three games of the month. The top three best games that we played in May 2024. My number three you've already talked about and it's Harmonies. And I really enjoyed Harmonies. Mm -hmm. As you explained, the puzzling is really nice. And I love the tactile elements with the not perfectly circular pieces that you put on your board and it's so satisfying trying to you're drafting these tiles and you're trying to make it all come together to make these patterns mm -hmm. so you get these habitats for for your very cube formed animals um yeah we've already talked about it love it to bits yes my number three is going to be Ezra and Nehemiah the new Garfield game, we're going to play it uh, some more. You only played it once. Yes. I played it more. Uh, so you only played it with two people. And I like it with two, but I like it better with three. The only problem is that it's a long game. So we're going to play it with four people next uh, weekend. And, and, and that's going to be something that hopefully we get to play with two before that. So that we can get our playtime down. Yeah. So that they will not It doesn't not take add. like seven hours. No, that would I, be nice. So far it's been one hour per player. Okay. So it's going to be but four hours. And I forget that down to like three. That's going to be fine. So it's a very good game. I enjoy it quite a bit. I like most parts about it. I'm not going to go into detail about the things now because we are not going to do a review. But know that I enjoyed this game quite a bit from my initial place of Ezra and Nehemiah. My number two, two. you've already spoken about, it's the Morrison Game Factory. Mm -hmm. And this was just like so... I love these escape room games. Yes. I love puzzle games. And this was... I love the narrative in this game. Mm -hmm. We laughed. I got like a little emotional and and the the puzzles also were very uh, clever mm -hmm. and solid and I just had an overall really good experience. It feel, felt like the a lighter one from these escape room games that yep. we played and also it's uh, some of those can be very long for example uh, Mother, Mother Frankenstein, Frankenstein yeah. many many hours this is just two so I we're going to make some more content for this, but I'm just saying it now. I really recommend this yeah. for like if you haven't played a lot of escape room games before, except you want for to, like unlock an exit. Yes, and, and you want to dip your toe into more like puzzle games. Mm -hmm. Uh, then I think this is a very nice starting point. I agree. My number two is going to be the Seventh Citadel. 
it was so much fun. I enjoyed exploring the collapsing lands. Uh, we played, as I said in the review, if you haven't seen it, you can go check it out. We played 10 hours in a day. Yeah. So we just, and we just, okay, we're going to do the next one. Oh, there's only two more. Let's do the next one. Oh, there's only one more. Let's do the next one. And for me, the adding on the campaign for Seventh Continent made this something that I is easier for me to actually play. Uh, and the toning down of the survival parts of Seventh Continent made it more available, more accessible for me as a player. So I really liked it. The Seventh Citadel, my number two. And now, number one. My number one, you've already talked about, it's Seventh Citadel. I, as you said, was really surprised actually about how, how much easier it was for me to get into this game now that it has like toned down the 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 survival bit which i thought was really super duper hard in seven continent and also adding that campaign that it's my fuel yes <laughs> into these games and it's it's actually one of those games that i could go right into another threat, threat yeah. now but i also know that this is such an like a simple rule set mm -hmm. for us that i can go like many years and we can go into the next threat and it would be no bother to like get into it again and i, I really enjoy that my number one i'm very surprised it's not only our top three so it might have been a case of cinema forgetting a game exists, which what? happens. This is El Burro. Oh, but I had it last month. And I know we talked about not excluding that, but I... I, I... <laughs> so you just I'm... you just went against the rules yes, again. Yes, I did. El Burro is my number one. Would it have been in your top three if you didn't decide to cheat? No, but I actually, I thought about it. And I'm just like, I could put El Burro here, but I... I I, I'm more excited about the stuff that I've just played and I've played the things after that yes. and that's that's basically why so basically next time we do a top 10 of the year you're gonna exclude everything made from January no, to okay, November no but we played Frosthaven and yes. that is much higher up than any other game uh -huh. and I haven't put that and you haven't put that in your top 3 no? of this month and no, I couldn't go for it like you just didn't even the top like it. list because we didn't have fun playing for yeah, seven. Yeah, but you so. haven't talked about it, so it could be on your top three. Yeah, but I didn't have fun either because it was not fun gaming <laughs> I session. I agree. But the El Burro is uh, my number one of the month because it's a fantastic game for all the reasons that we talked about in our review of the game. It is a uh, one of the better, heavier Euro games from this year so far. Of course, heavy Euro season is uh, not until the end of the year for most part, like from October. Wait to the end of the year. Um, but yeah, El Burro, fantastic game. Not fantastical, because that is like fantasy stuff, but it's a fantastic game. Yes. Yes, I like it. And this is the end. You have watched the video. We appreciate it. Because you can't hear these words if you're not watching. You can if you close your eyes or if you're only listening to the video. But we enjoy that you do that anyways. If the video gave you value, not money, but value for you as a person, then you can give us value and help by giving us a victory point. And we get value when you click the subscribe button and also give us value when you click the bell button because then you get to see the videos. Yes, Yay. and you can also write words under the video and write they, will, value, they will come up and we will see that you've written words and we can write words back. Yes. This is how things work on the internet. And this is the end of this video that you watched or listened to. I'm Johannes. I'm Cinema. And you've been watching Board Gaming Ramblings and bye bye.